Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy Vinny here. Today we've got a real treat to unbox and set up. The Reaspire electric bike. This mountain snow beach ready e-bike is packing a 750 watt Buffong motor and a 48 volt 16 amp lithium ion battery. It's sporting 26 inch fat tires and can hit a top speed of 24 miles per hour. It's an e-bike designed to conquer all terrains and today, we'll see how well it lives up to that promise. Upon opening the box, I was pleased to see the bike was well packaged with clear instructions. There are a few items to attach, the seat, tail and headlight, pedals, and the front wheel via the quick release lever. First things first, I installed the handlebars via the cover plate. This setup was straightforward and hassle-free. Moving forward, I attached the front wheel using the quick release lever. These levers are an absolute godsend. They make the setup process so much easier. Next step was the headlight installation, which was as simple as screwing it in place and connecting the power cord. After that, it was on to the seat, which also featured a quick release lever, making it a breeze to install. Attached to the seat, we also have the tail light, keeping you visible on those early morning or late night rides. The last piece of the assembly was the left and right pedals. The threading was perfect, making it a quick and simple process. After that, I did a quick check of the bike, ensuring all screws were tightened and inflated the tires. This is a key step that you don't want to skip, safety first always. The battery, a removable Samsung cells battery, was the last piece of the puzzle, with the full charge taking four to six hours. It offers a maximum travel range of up to 40 miles on PAS mode, providing more than enough range for most commuters or trail riders. With the setup complete, it was time to hit the trails. I took this e-bike out for a test drive in the North Georgia mountains. A challenging terrain that really put the e-bike to the test. The 750 watt Bafang brushless motor performed phenomenally well, providing power and easily reaching the top speed of 24 miles per hour. The Shimano 8-speed transmission system added to the thrill, allowing for significant hill climbing power, while the FR hydraulic brakes ensured complete control and quick stable stopping. The bike's shock absorption was also worth mentioning. The aluminum dual shock absorbers effortlessly tackled the bumps in the ride, making it a lot easier on the spine, in my opinion. This is a key feature when you're taking on mountainous terrains like these. This e-bike also comes with a full-color, 4-inch, extra-large LCD display showing mileage, speed, battery capacity, and a light-on-off indicator. It even has front and rear lights for those low-light conditions. Definitely a nice touch. In terms of build, the high-strength 6061 aluminum body coupled with the 26 by 4 inch fat tires meant better terrain handling, improved cornering, and an overall smoother ride. And let me tell you, it handled the rocky North Georgia mountains with ease. As soon as the trail started to rise, the 750 watt Buffon brushless motor came to life. The motor is marketed as a high speed motor, but its raw power in response in hill climbing situations were nothing short of impressive. The moment you start to ascend, you feel the bike delivering the required torque and power, making those steep inclines feel effortless. One of the most remarkable aspects I noticed was the bike's sturdiness, which inspired a lot of confidence. The high strength 6061 aluminum frame was steadfast, handling the stress and strain of the mountainous winding roads without missing a beat. It was sturdy, responsive, and provided a stable platform for the ride. The 26 by 4 inch fat tires were another standout feature. They handled the uneven, rocky terrain of the mountains with ease. The fat tires combined with the excellent shock absorbers made every turn, every dip, and every incline manageable. Cornering felt controlled and safe, making the bike feel like an extension of myself moving exactly where and how I wanted it to. Now, let's talk about the brakes. When you're carving through mountainous roads at a top speed of 24 miles per hour, you need brakes you can trust. The FR hydraulic brakes of the Reaspire electric bike were more than up to the task. Even at top speeds, 
when I pushed the brakes to their limits, they responded with quick and stable stops, providing the control you need when you're out there in the mountains. In terms of range, the 48 volt 16 amp Samsung lithium ion surpassed my expectation. Even with the constant power demand from the steep climbs and fast descents, it offered a remarkable range of 40 miles on PAS mode. The Reaspire electric bike truly stood up to the test. Its power, handling and comfort, and braking capability make it not only an exceptional e-bike for commuting or leisurely riding, but also a competent companion for mountain trails and steep inclines. The well thought out design and features of this bike take the riding experience to a whole new level. Whether you're an e-bike enthusiast or someone looking to switch to an electric bike, the Reaspire electric bike is definitely worth considering. In conclusion, the Reaspire electric bike is a serious contender in the e-bike market. Its build quality, ease of assembly, powerful motor, and battery life make it an excellent choice for anyone looking to invest in an e-bike. Whether you're tackling steep hills or rocky trails, this bike should at least be considered when shopping for bikes in this price range. Thanks for watching, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us on this electrifying journey. This is Jeremy Vinny, signing off. We'll see you on the next one.